This video in the World Partition series discusses valid world sizes and examples of project specifications. In order to prevent height map padding and stretching on the terrain, it is imperative that you use a valid world partition height map size. Depending on your world design, this stretching on the edges may be visible within the game or visualization depending on the camera placement. To calculate valid world partition height map sizes, use the formula 511 times n minus n minus 1, where n is each half kilometer distance. So a 10 kilometer height map would be 511 times 20 minus 20 minus 1, which equals 10,201 by 10,201. In this example, I am importing in a 9700 by 9700 height map, which is a non-valid size. You can see that World Partition is padding the landscape out to 10201 by 10201, which will result in a 501 pixel padding stretch around the perimeter of the terrain. UE5 Landscape Mode can import single height maps in PNG format, up to and beyond 32768 in size, so there's no need to use tiles anymore for most large worlds. A 65535 by 65535 height map is the largest that I have tried, which won't import into UE5 5.0.2 and crashes quickly before the wireframe preview with a platform memory error. I also tried a number of additional smaller sizes to determine the upper limit, including 56101 and 45901, and they also crashed the editor before the wireframe preview with a platform memory error. A 40801 by 40801 height map imports to the wireframe preview without crashing, but fails with a GPU memory exhausted error before finishing import, so a computer with more than 128 gigabytes plus 24 gigabytes of memory would be required. A 32641 by 32641 height map imports completely, but uses all available 128 gig CPU memory and all 24 gigs RTX 3090 GPU memory. So the largest viable world will typically be 32 kilometers by 32 kilometers with a high-end computer. A 40 kilometer by 40 kilometer landscape is about the largest size supported before editor platform memory crashes. Unreal Engine 5 World Partition has effectively the same maximum world size limits as what World Composition has, simply because the size of the height map data, the size of the project data, and the amount of memory required to import and manage cells is still effectively the same. One major difference between World Composition and World Partition is that World Composition you can load tiles in batches. However, this is a lot of extra work with little overall benefit. With my tests, World Partition actually required more memory than World Composition for importing height maps and loading all cells. This is some examples of large open worlds and the approximate sizes and requirements, assuming that you had a massive high-end workstation computer system. Note that depending on your specific world design, the size of the computer page file, the amount of dedicated GPU memory, and other factors, your results may vary. The following are a few typical world sizes in World Partition and the statistical information on importing and playing. 